Uh, oh, because he said he was going to work site. That's why. Ah, I really hope that's not a long uh, side quest. I kind of want to like. I I'm curious about the house thing they mentioned. You know what I mean? Where the little girl go? Bro, where'd she go? She's, she's running around. Maybe she's inside the house there. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Cause I did not see her. And she was running around like a little idiot. So. Me penis head. <laughs> penis head. He's like the best parts of me and Ronson. I don't know, bro. Let's see if she's stuck with your penis head. Ah, oh. uh, that's the company's storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to come in from the bottom. How do we even do that? The hell is there even a bottom too? Damn it. Is she here? Okay, hold on. Is there a different floor we can do? Hold on. Maybe she's up here. The Fortnite? <laughs> the houses kind of look. We kind of look at the ones for Fortnite, right? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so she says, good morning is Savata. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? <laughs> we scared the crap out of this poor little girl. Uh, don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away for my big journey. I'm doing all this study because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I spent... I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've done my... I've made it my mission. She uses like sun for everything. To memorize as many words as I can. <laughs> hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to give a lesson to Granny Minari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> for this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Uh, oh, she's running off. Kill her. Kill her. <laughs> you know what? All right. Hopefully the side quest isn't too long. Let's, let's see what she... Uh, Me kill her. I mean, they just say spend time with her and then maybe we can like build our house or whatever. Because I'm curious what they mean by a house. Are we going to have like a house here in town? That would be kind of cool, actually. Yeah. She has like, the, like this weird like, like, I don't know, like the head being all big and then like the body. It looks like a weird mushroom person. I know, gross. Okay, where's she going? Oh, these old people. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see. Hi. Granny Minari! Sab Sabah! Hi. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Haha, <laughs> of course, and it's a special occasion song too, because a new student is joining the class. Let's get the camera. Oh. Okay now, pay a tent shot a tent song. Granny Minari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for granny? Oh. Granny Gerudo is uh hmm, what was it? Damn, I actually don't know. Uh, you think it's this one? I think it's Baba? I think maybe Baba. No, Vava might be Grandpa, but do they believe Vada. it? It is Vada, you looked it up? No. Oh. Uh, let's, let's try this one. <laughs> nope, too bad, and Granny Minari is out of time too. Do you want to give it another try? Oh, let's yeah. do it. Okay. So this is the one I was thinking. I oh, went with the Vava. one you- Huh? It's Vava, yeah. With, with the B? That's Vava, yeah. Yeah, because you said this one. No, yeah, Vava, not Vada. Yeah, Vava. Because yeah. I was thinking this one, so you weren't thinking this one? Okay, no, I was thinking the middle one. I'm saying now that I looked it up, it's va ba. Yeah, because my first thought was the last one. Because I know in other languages they call them like like va ba, you know, and stuff. Yeah. But I think that might be grandpa. But you know what I mean. Ding ding ding. That's right. Ah uh -huh. uh, yes, va ba. It's what it was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> What's the thing? Sure, buddy. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. Okay, well now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown quite rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know? <laughs> well, it's time to talk in Mama's hometown, so if our son can talk like here, that here well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I'm really wondering why she keeps saying son so much. Just a little quirk, I guess. Uh, I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. <laughs> I've got it! Papa's always so busy, so it'll make my miss son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Uh, okay. Don't freaking get hit by a car. Oh, Madison, she's, she's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Alright, so this is about to be a multi... Step mission again. Hope it's not too. Where the hell should go? Oh, there she is. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction on site and help him get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. This guy's just being a dick. I never had a pen until. Hey, he has a crystal, by the way, too. Look. So that's probably for some shrine nearby. I never had a pen until you took over. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I gonna do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Do you have the greeter? Ah, uh, so I thought it would be valuable when I picked it up, but that weird rock is giving me the creeps. I gotta hurry and find some sucker to hmm? head to the construction site, huh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. Ah. Dude, 20 rupees is not even that bad. I don't even give a shit. You know what? Take my rupees. I don't give a shit. I'm rolling in money. Very good. They're all set. Yes, profit, profit. Ah. The controls are simple. Just give it back to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. The rail car. Maybe to kill off time for that. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. Uh, President's husband's pride and joy, an amazing contraption connecting Terry Town to the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately, things falling down from the sky right onto the construction site. Cool. Hudson has turned into quite the inv inventor. Best thing to tell, he tell it teaches what falls out of the sky and experiments until he makes something new. <gasps> the rock car is a perfect example. It's so simple to control that anyone can do it. Just give it a whack. It's that rock. Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, I would see sell it to you. Yeah, oh, shit, man. I'm running money. I'll give you the freaking money. Hell yeah. I don't even give a shit. Oh, wait, what happened? Uh -oh. oh, hey, what are you doing? Uh, they're not gonna let me buy it because they're like, saying he's taking advantage of me, I guess. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I call 60, no, 50 rupees a more than fair price. But but I already set an absolutely fair price. And he might have. Okay, no need for the stern wife look. Ah, his wife came out, like, make, you know, put him in his place. Ah, well, I guess, what do you say? It's a real deal at just 50 rupees. I don't give a shit. I would have paid 50. What? He's actually gonna buy this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. It's like. It's like Smosh when they found, like, the rock from space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the piece of. Shit. Yeah, that's great. You have good eyes, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you, no refunds. <gasps> I'll place it in the back for whatever you're ready to take it to its new home. What does it mean in the back? Back of what? Oh, just right there, actually. Uh, little girl, did you not jump on the car? You know, maybe now we have to talk. I mean, I paid for it, girl. Do you want to, like, write it? I, I can just pay for you. Yeah, I, I, I literally, I, I paid, but, okay. Okay, maybe if I jump on it, no, you know what, I think I know what I have to do, hold on. Uh, let's cover that right here. I I just leave. Let's just, like, cover it somehow. Just... Damn it. <laughs> That's something that was tricky. Hold on. Well, maybe we can grab that battery and then put it... There we go. Uh, li little girl. Is he supposed to suppose he can still see her? Like what? Uh, uh, go! You can go now. There we go. Huh, mister, did you do that? Uh, I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you all run straight there. Like, get the freak in there, bro. You can just... I paid! <laughs> you can, I, I have money. I can pay for you to ride the damn car, little girl. Alright. Is it gonna work or is it gonna be like, no, he sees through it? Pretty sure it's gonna work. Right? Hopefully? <laughs> I did it! My miss is on was a success! Go get on the thing and run. Yeah, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. Yeah, like, he's not gonna hear her yelling, right? He's gonna be so happy to see me! Uh -huh. Thanks for helping with my miss, son! Like, oh. I guess it's a little piece of wood. I like how he doesn't throw it off, though, right? Yeah. All right, cool. What is this? Bro reacted right after. <gasps> Why is this? It's, it's right in my way. I can't see a thing. Oh, so when you talk to him, that's when he removes it. Okay. I would have paid for her, man. It's just so silly. Oh. That ought to do it. You can't bet. I'll be sending a bill to Hudson for clean up that mess. Uh, so, so the little girl's plan didn't even work because this dude is still going to like charge for dad one way or another. Good job, little girl. Your plan didn't work at all. Uh, she took the car, though, by the way. So uh, I guess I'll have to float down there. Oh, crap. Okay, so she took the cart. We weren't able to write it down. Luckily, we're here. Okay, so she came to see the dad, right? Yeah. Where is she? Oh, she's right there. The penis heads. Oh. That's what should we call it. Should we call the penis head family? Yeah. Uh, hey, you didn't met, son. You were coming here too, mister. It's strange. Hobbit keeps bowling to himself. <laughs> oh. 
Ooh. Oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. Ooh. And, well, what I came up with is this. Ooh. Uh -huh. Town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special hot air balloon. Mm. But I want to make it really special, something just for her. I'm just not sure what to do. Or how to do that, sorry. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. Mm. The sun. Ooh. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sun lions around here. I could get, I could use them to make a dye if I get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something the size, I need ten of them. You know, I think I probably, I probably have those on hand already. Yeah, you already have a lot. Uh, here's the thought, but it's too difficult. Sunday lines are quite rare. Uh, I'm not even sure where you'd find them. So if they're rare, how does he know what the, they exist then? Don't worry, I've seen a Sunday line before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. Mm. The sky, huh? Yeah, yeah, we got them. Just, just take my game. Mm. Well, I had to send Sunday lines, and I'd be able to dye the balloon bright yellow. But I don't know where I'm gonna get them. Here we go. Just, just take them, man. Let's speed through this, man. I want to see what fits up with building a house. That's awesome! You did it! You really and truly collected ten of them. Ooh. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dying the balloon the color of the sun. Aww. Aww, I wasn't any help at all. I filled my miss on. That's not true, Madison. Your papa's about to turn his balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? Aww. I will, I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Alright, cool. So if she really is going back to Gerudo Town, right? That's what's hinting mm -hmm. at. Like, if we go to Gerudo Town, will she be there then, hanging out? Quick and quality, blink and we're done. Yeah, there you go, see That's why every sun sees his shuts and constructs sun. God, it's so much suns, man. It's annoying to It's actually kind of annoying. It is pretty annoying, honestly. This feels like such an anime thing, right? Where they like, oh god. Ooh. Alas, it's done. The morning is already here. Damn, so they worked all day. Damn, she fell asleep. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a little longer. She just died. She's, <laughs> She's so dead. dead. Oh, oh my god, I thought she died. Jeez. Uh, Hudson. Uh, <laughs> I saw her like she's dead. Oh, she's up. Okay, she's, she's alive. She came back to life. Oh, Hudson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. Yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. I see. All right. Or just grab her and throw her, so like all casual. Let's all go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Hey, right. cool. We get to ride the hard balloon. That's, that's kind of fun, oh. I guess. So we gave this family like a nice little party gift moment, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just kept going. <laughs> she dies? <laughs> that's what I thought. Right wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> Oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from the side. I like how the whole family's here and like, she's there too, right? It's yeah. all awkward. <laughs> We're a part of this family now. Oh, mm. uh, we have to cut penis head. No. <laughs> Everyone, take a look at that. You know, it says the cone heads. It's the penis. This <laughs> <laughs> what you know. I just like, you just hit me. I said the cone heads, the penis heads. God damn it. Uh, it's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gruo Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sign. That's crazy. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. I mean, couldn't you go with her? You're a Gerudo, right? Like, I don't know, anyway. Ooh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. He does have a pretty epic mustache, though. Yeah. His eyes are creepy, though. Yeah, they're just like really small, kind of like, you know, like like sad or whatever. Kind of. They're like pitch black, bro. Like, he's, like, he's like a black eyed child. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. A black eyed child, bro. <laughs> How did this, this this penis head looking dude end up with like a hot ass brutal lady? He even has like a daughter That's and stuff. His personality, man. I guess. But then his daughter looks like a weird stick <laughs> thing. I mean, it's she, I mean, she has a child. Maybe when she grows up, she'll be all buff and have abs and stuff too. Yeah. She has growing no, up to do. She, she died too. <laughs> so, uh, Papa, your present made me very happy. Hmm. Like, why, why did you see her like uh, 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 disappear? Oh, she like go. fade away because she was a ghost. <laughs> Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you could come back any... Yeah. He's like, sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. So it's like, oh. it's supposed to be like the equivalent of going to like a boarding school or something, right? Where they send them off. Yeah. Okay, the thing is, back when you're older, yeah. I don't know how much they let them travel out of the village, right? The yeah. town, right? And I know men aren't allowed into... Guru Town, right? Yeah. But you're telling me that he can't at least go to the bazaar area or anywhere outside the town and 
have her visit him there. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. I guess it's something I'm not supposed to think about too much, you know. Uh, so, yes, it's time. Ooh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your mama and papa. Don't worry. You can go, says, I guess, the grandma. <laughs> go become a wonderful vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. Oh. Honey, uh, I'll come visit you in Gruo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. Oh. I'm going to become a great Vi like Mama. And I'll be a wonderful Voe like Papa. Hi. Savork, every son. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> yeah, wait, <sorry. laughs> oh, we're still laughing. We're like, not being able to calm down. Okay. Oh. Uh, Ronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Hmm. Yes, you're right, of course. Ahem. Okay, I am ready. Okay, bro. Go Ooh. get your haircut. Right? Oh, uh, yeah. sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday lines are pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Oh, oh they paid us back for them. That's kind of cool. Oh. And this is from me. Oh, damn. They both paid us. Oh, shit. That's pretty good, actually. Damn. All right. All right. Uh, you've already helped so much. But if you ever visit Gruta Town, please check it on Madison. And we do need to visit Gruta Town at some point to get yeah. that weapon from Isha. Yeah. We'll do it someday. Uh, what are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Void aren't allowed in Gruta Town? Mm -hmm. All right. I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> I'm not going to be going back to work. You need to start accepting requests for dream houses again. Link just like goes, uh, actually, I'm special, I'm allowed in there, so yeah. I got you. Okay, so. You keep forgetting I work with the princess. Right? Okay, so real quick, what is the damn house? I don't know if we'll like, get into like building it. I think we just talked to them and then. Where the hell are they? Okay, over here. Uh, because I'm guessing, you know how the first game we could customize the house, right? Like build it? Yeah. You know how here it's already built? Maybe here it's like another chance to like build something else? Uh, okay, welcome to Hudson Construction. With Madison on her own adventure, looks like I can resume working on dream homes. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic like a kitchen or a fully finished room or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what all of our customers really enjoy, which is <laughs> the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commencement gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know our whole family is in your debt for all your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. Uh, okay, sure. Let's just see how it works. Uh, dream home, that's great. Here's a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinary, the land alone would cost you 3,000 rupees. But it's special just for you. I can offer a land rooms combination deal for only a thousand five hundred rupees. Dude, we're swimming in money. I would pay the three thousand. <laughs> okay, so how does it work? Uh, okay, where is it? Southeast of here was on an excellent view. So it's not even in town. It's way the hell over oh. there. There's a shrine over in that location. Okay, and I remember our staff will meet you on the hill to that left of that shrine. Speak with him there for more details. Huh? <laughs> I hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home, Sephora. Okay, so I assumed that it was going to be here in town. I thought that was the whole point. So what's good is we're going to find out how it is to build a house. The bad news is it's way the hell over there, though. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if we get to that. Honestly, I kind of want to get back to the story. So this is where we're going to cut it for now, guys. As you can see, you know, there's a lot of little side quests around. We're probably not going to do all of them, but we're, you know, we did some here. We're going to get back to the story. Maybe we'll try to tackle some more before the game is done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, this is where we're going to cut it. And next time, we will get back to investigating the depths. Because that's story. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We'll do that next time, though. So if you guys like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff. Thank you a lot for being here. You're very welcome. All right. And we'll see you guys next time. We'll get back to the story. And we're going to explore some of the depths. We'll see how that goes. So bye-bye. Bye-bye.